Hello friends, few points about async business rule which are important for your interview. The very first one, why it is known as async business rule? What is the meaning of it? So async means whatever the processing happening in the script of that business rule, it is happening in the background and the control will return to the user immediately, okay? which is not possible in the before and after business rule in that you see whenever you click on update the script goes and goes and until it completes the user is not able to access the form or make any changes in the form but this is not the case in the async the script is happening the script is executing in the background okay no need for any hurry so that's why this business rule is one of the most efficient business rule because it is not hampering the performance it is saving the performance or upgrading the performance as well as giving a very user friendly environment to the users but the use case of this business rule is very important you have to understand carefully what is the requirement okay and then only you can apply this business rule because the business rule is executing in the background but not immediately it is dependent on the scheduler and a scheduler may take few more minutes or few more seconds to execute and if your use case is to show or is to update immediately in that case you should not use it let me tell you a few use cases of async business rule the very first one is uh, whenever you want to send uh, some kind of data outside the system of service now let's say you want to create a new request in some other system where you are using rest api and in that case few seconds here and there are okay okay so in that case you can use it second you want to update certain cis which nobody is going to check immediately okay in that case it is okay third you want to do some mass updates and that will be in non-business hours that means nobody is there to look after it immediately right the script is executing but based on scheduler so a scheduler may take few more seconds or may start the processing after 10 minutes let's say so you cannot predict when the update will happen but it will happen for sure so in that case you can use async business rule only one thing which you have to be careful is that async business rules do not have the option to access the previous object which is available in the before and after business rule so if you want to use previous object async business rule is not your friend so these are the few important points. I hope you understand it. Use it wisely. Bye-bye.